Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. As promised, here we are doing another tarot reading for you guys. I was very much inclined. It is now 4.31 a.m. I just finished spell work for my clients. It is full moon in Capricorn, you guys. Yes, for us Cappies, exciting time. So let's really keep up the momentum. As you guys can imagine, I have so much electricity running through my body, so much energy. So I was very inclined to do a reading for you guys. So we're going to dive deep. Let's see who's missing you. This is going to be for all zodiac signs. If you guys are interested in any of the personal readings that we provide or any personal spell work, you can find all of that on the description box below. If you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. As promised, like I said, we're going to be uh, uploading crazy back to back. I really want to give you guys more content. If you guys follow me on other social medias, awesome. If you don't, I highly encourage you guys to do that. I am very active in Instagram and in Snapchat as well. So you guys can find all of that on the description links below. All right, my loves, let's begin. I had already shuffled the deck, so we're going to get right into it. We're going to begin here with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So let's get to it. Let's see who is thinking of you, Gemini. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, Five of Cups, okay, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, interesting, okay, and the Emperor, of course. All right, so what I'm seeing here for you guys, uh, Gemini, this could be a person from your past, this could be a recent ex or someone that you were in communication with and perhaps no longer communicating. There is definitely some type of distancing that happened. What I'm seeing here is I see them constantly reminiscing about the past or constantly thinking of you. However, with the temperance and the five of cups indicates to me that this person is not very good with showing emotion. They have difficulty with vulnerability and opening up. It's almost like what I'm getting is you're dealing or we're dealing with the person that is very much on survival mode. Now, this is not a positive thing because when it comes to love and romance, obviously it becomes an issue. When a person is on survival mode, even if they have a strong connection, which I clearly see here with the five of cups and the five of pentacles, okay? Um, even if they have a very strong emotional connection with someone, they they are always going to choose themselves. Um, it's almost like they don't, they fear basically making you feel like you have the ball in your court um, because they there's so much on survive, survival mode. It's a defense mechanism that doesn't really allow them to open up and become vulnerable. It's kind of like the mentality of before you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you or before you walk away, I'm walking away type of energy, especially with the emperor card here. This is a person that is extremely stubborn or has a habit of doing this. So it's a recurring cycle for them in their life, right? Um, but what I am seeing here is I do see some type of remorse with the seven of pentacles and five of pentacles. It's almost like I dropped the ball with Gemini or I wish I could have done things very differently. It's almost a feeling of like too much time has passed or maybe they're seeing something in you like you're moving on, even if you're not. But you've been like, as an example, posting on social media or something like that. There is a feeling of like Gemini's moved on or perhaps they're not taking it as hard as I thought they would. And then they're like kind of realizing that they are in fact hurt or they are in fact missing you. Um, but it's almost like not wanting to give in because if they do, their ego is telling them the ball is going to be in Gemini's court. But in reality, like I said, it's a defense mechanism and what's coming through is they really fear rejection. They fear that you're going to be completely shut up, shut them out or push them away or be very direct and be like, you know what, your, your time has passed type of energy. Not that you would do that, but this is how this person is, you know, uh, feeling and what they're thinking. Now, again, with the temperance and the five of pentacles, this is definitely a person that has abandonment issues or perhaps they have a tendency that's like I said, I'm hearing recurring cycles. So they could have come from past relationships where when things got difficult or a bit uh, complicated, instead of them working through it, it's almost like this fear kicked in of this person is like uh, perhaps not feeling as strongly as they did in the past. And 
before anything happens, I'm going to be the one to walk away. I'm going to be the one to let go. I'm the one that's going to give them my absence instead of it being the other way around. Like they don't sit there and work it out. They kind of run away from it before you do. And it's a defense mechanism. Like I said, it's something that they constantly are dealing with in relationships or in the past relationships because we have temperance and five of pentacles. So there is a underlying feeling of abandonment or the fear of abandonment. And before shit hits the fan, they walk away. So again, I feel like I don't see any momentum. I don't see them reaching out. I don't see them coming towards you. This is a person, like I said, that is very stuck in a behavior that is hindering this connection, but this person is not as aware, like to want to put in the effort to actually work it out, to actually put egos aside and to reach out because clearly they want to reach out, but they're just not, they're just not going to do that. Um, and again, it's almost like in a hopeful way, kind of, they're waiting for you to be the one to reach out. But again, I feel that as time progresses, there is, the fear of them continues to grow like you're moving on or you're no longer interested in them. Even if you are, that's how you're coming across to them. Okay. All right, my loves. Moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is thinking of them. Who is missing them? Who is thinking of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? If you guys like these videos, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, here we go. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we got cards flying out. Give me one second. All right, Cancer. We have two cards that flew out and I'm going to keep them. And here we go. Okay, so we have the star card. We have the two of cups. We have the eight of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Ooh, ace of swords, the death card, and eight of cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is there could have been some type of connection or some type of relationship that you were dealing with 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 which perhaps in the past you didn't necessarily feel like you knew where this was headed or where this was going maybe they could have been a bit indecisive however I really see like there is a switch that's happening with them um obviously we are experiencing the full moon in Capricorn right and Capricorn is all about structure it's all about you know certain aspects of our life being illuminated and where we're at right now. Are we happy? Are we content? Are we not? What is it that we're doing uh, to get us to that happy place? So this person is really internalizing where this connection is going. And I feel like they are getting or getting mentally prepared to redirect their energy to come towards you and give you some type of offering cancer with the star card and the two of cups they're realizing that there are feelings there they're realizing that you know what maybe i should have put more effort maybe i should have treated cancer a little bit better um or maybe there was a genuine authentic connection there and they're acknowledging that it's almost like they're being forced to acknowledge that and in doing so they are preparing themselves to really open up and put in or be willing to put in the work with the eight of pentacles here now we do have the death card underneath the two of cups so there is a massive transformation that's going to be happening in this connection or in this relationship um so for some of you guys you could be dealing with an aquarius for others you could be dealing with earth or water energy cancer uh Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for others of you, Earth energy, like I said, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's also air sign here, obviously, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So it could, it could be any sign. But what I'm seeing is there is a definite connection. You definitely, if you're uh, connecting with this reading, you definitely know who this person is because I feel like this is an energy of reciprocation, okay? This is an energy where there was already a connection or both of you guys kind of felt for each other, but I feel like this person, because of the star card with the two of cups, there's a realization. So I feel like they weren't necessarily the perfect type or they 
weren't really putting effort the way they should have because there's that realization that's happening. And then communication opens up where, like I said, two of cups underneath the death card, there's a massive transformation. There's a status that's going to be changing in this connection. So again, if you guys had a falling out, there could be reconciliation here. If there was, again, like I said, uncertainty in this connection, you're going to know exactly where you stand with this person because this person is going to be opening up to you. Cancer, they're going to be professing their feelings for you and they're going to be telling you that, you know what, yes, I messed up or maybe I wasn't sure of what it is that I wanted, but now I have a very clear um, realization of what it is that what I feel for you and I actually want to pursue this. I actually want to put in the effort. For some of you guys, though, I feel like you may be tempted to walk away. So this could have been potentially a connection that maybe there is a lot of like like a plain of a waiting game. Um, for some of you guys, it could have been, you know, a while uh, that there was some type of breakup or some type of separation. And this person is really coming back around. And like I said, there will be a change in status in this connection. I feel for the major majority of you cancers out there, you're making it official or you're getting into a relationship, making it more stable, more publicly recognized or known, um, especially for those of you guys that were dealing with someone where perhaps it was only on a physical aspect or perhaps you guys were only dealing with each other, like as an example, late at night type of energy. Um this person is realizing that they do have feelings for you and that they're not going to allow anyone else to have an opportunity with you. So because what I'm hearing here with the Ace of Swords underneath the star card, it's like I'm realizing, you know what, I have feelings. Why am I having feelings? Could be some type of information or some type of spiritual download or some realization where, you know what, cancer is not always going to be there because what am I giving them to actually hold on to? So I feel like that's what's pushing them to actually step up. For some of you guys with the star card, you could be getting more attention. Or for others of you, you're actually having, you know, more suitors or more people around you that are actually trying to get close to you or trying to get to know you. And this person is realizing, you know what, uh, we can go about not having a title because I want to know that there is it's almost giving me the energy of you've been wanting this for a while and this person is just now feeling what you've been feeling. Like, I want to know where this is going. I want to, you know, make it official, make it real type of energy. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with, with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is missing you? Who is thinking of you, Leo? Let's see what's going on here with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who's thinking of you, who's missing you. Oh, we got a card here, Six of Swords. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, one more shuffle. Thank you, spirits. All right, here we go. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, there is regret. There is remorse here. Sagittarius energy here. Temperance. Okay. So, all right. I feel like the person that's thinking of you or missing you, uh, Leo, is a person that could potentially have walked away from this connection because they could have thought that the grass was greener. Or they could have felt like maybe you didn't feel for them the way they thought you did initially. There is almost like you go from being loving or giving them attention to like completely becoming ice cold. And I feel the reason for this is because you felt them pulling away. But this person was like so delusional that they didn't really analyze like, yeah, maybe because I'm being you know, maybe because I'm making Leo feel like I have other options and Leo doesn't stand for that, right? <laughs> you guys don't stand for that. So it's like, I feel like, and you know what? Leos do have a tendency of doing this. You guys, the people you choose to date or deal with, you make them so special because you kind of like, you, when you're genuinely connected with someone, you're so giving and so loving and so loyal that you 
everything you do for them, it, it comes out of you being authentic to them, right? But a lot of that has to do with what makes them special. So the moment you realize like they're breadcrumbing you or the moment you feel like they're not reciprocating your energy, you can switch that off really quick. And the moment you do, it's like, holy shit. Okay, Leo did a 180. And they have the, you have them like rethinking their whole connection. Like, holy crap, I thought that Leo was really into me. Like, what happened? Did they lie? Did they, they, they really start to question everything. And it's not that you weren't being authentic to them. It was the moment you felt like they were putting you as an option. You completely become ice cold and, you know, you start to pull away. And in, in the reality of it, you're wanting them to show you, right? To chase you, to prove to you, you know what? Yes, I do want you, Leo. But instead of them doing that, what they did is they were like, okay, let me look at the other other things around me, right? So now they feel like they fucked up. Now they feel like, okay, I dropped the ball. Maybe I could have treated Leo. And you know what? I feel like for some of you guys, it's not so much that they had options. It has more to do with like playing mind games. Like they thought they were going to have you be the one to chase them if they were a little bit standoffish and like distant with you. But instead, it's like I said, the moment you realize they were kind of breadcrumbing you or they weren't being as like, you know, reciprocated of your energy, you pulled your energy back and they and you had them rethinking everything, like the whole connection, like, was it a lie? Did they ever even feel anything? Um, but I feel like rightfully so, you did this because you felt like they were just playing or trying to play. So what they're showing me here is, yeah, there's regret, there's remorse there. There's like, oh my God, I really dropped the ball with you. I really fucked up. How do I do it? How do I come back from that? And for a lot of you guys, I feel like this person will be coming back around. That's if you haven't already heard from them. I do see them reaching out. But again, I feel like I'm going to be honest with you, Leos. I feel like you guys are dealing with a person that could potentially be emotionally more immature than you. And this is a person that really struggles with communication, like the moment that they feel like you're questioning something instead of them being able to embrace that and be like, okay, let's talk it through. Let's talk it out. They completely shut down or they have a tendency of like running away. It's giving me very much like Piscean energy. Uh, so for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the Pisces. For others, it could be a water sign. But it's giving me very much the energy of a Piscean energy where they're really good with like overly expressing when it's not so dear and close to their heart. But when it comes to something that's very dear and close to their heart and they feel attacked by it or they feel like you're judging them for that, they, they're they the fish, right? So they run away from the situation or they try to do some type of form of escapism to not deal with that, with the confrontation of it. So I feel like this is a person that could potentially have that habit where instead of communicating what's bothering them, um, they kind of put that in the back, in the back burner and so that they don't have to deal. But then when it gets overly heavy and burdensome, they have a tendency of running away or shutting down. So again, I feel like there is a lack of con consistent communication. And if you should decide to proceed with this connection, if they do or when they do reach out, because I, su I do see them reaching out. But I feel like there's going to be a bit of frustration because, again, this person is coming in and they're coming in still in balance. So it's not something that they can learn overnight because obviously this person has a tendency of doing that. So if you do decide to entertain this, my advice is make it extremely blunt and extremely known that they need to learn to better communicate because if not, this person is going to have you pulling on your hairs of how frustrating it is to deal with them, Leo. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who's thinking of them, who's missing them. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Happy full moon, you guys. Are you guys doing any rituals, any spells, any cleansings? What are you guys up to this full moon? All right, comment below, let me know. I do read all your messages, you guys, and I try the best I can to respond to everyone. All right, here we go. 
Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's missing them? Who's thinking of them? Here we go. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we got cards flying out. Okay. I will take them. All right. So we have the Hanged Man, Five of Pentacles. Uh-oh. We have the Emperor card, Aries energy, Pisces energy here. Earth energy here as well. Eight of Wands. Oof, the Tower. King of Cups. Very interesting. And I glanced at the bottom, and it's the Magician. What the heck is going on here, Virgo? Okay, so I see someone trying to manifest you. If you have no contact with this person or the person you were dealing with has gone MIA or has ghosted you, and if you've been on this journey of trying to manifest them, you will definitely be hearing from them. I'm going to keep this magician card here because it did stand out. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is five of pentacles and the hanged man with the emperor. You could potentially be dealing with an Aries for others of you, Pisces energy for others, Scorpio, Plutonian type of energy here. We also have water energy, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces. Fire energy here with the Eight of Wands as well. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Okay, so what I'm seeing is you could have potentially been dealing, Virgo, with a person that was or that came across as very confident. A person that is very good at pretending like they're not jealous or like they're not possessive, okay? The reason I say that is because the emperor, right next to the hanged man and the five of pentacles, this is a person that struggles with value, meaning with their confidence, or they struggle with constantly comparing themselves to others, even though it's coming up as the emperor, even though it's coming up as the most mature, right? The most confident, the most wisest, right? The emperor is the, the main one, right? We have kings and then the emperor. The emperor rules the kings. So again, with the hanged man, the five of pentacles, this person struggles with confidence or perhaps they're not used to dealing with someone that is very captivating. With the alchemist card here, your energy is coming across Virgo very empowered or very confident or a person that gets or has been getting a lot of attention and they're noticing this. Eight of Wands indicates to me that there could potentially be some sneaking around or looking at your social medias, pretending from other accounts type of energy. This is a person that doesn't want you to know that they're missing you, but they are most definitely missing you. If you're resonating with this message, with this uh, reading for you, um, Virgo, this is, I feel like you're going to be blown away because this whole time you were questioning or even doubting yourself. Like, was it something I said? Was it something I did? Am I asking for too much? Am I this? Am I like, you're so, first of all, Virgos are overthinkers. We all know that, right? But it's almost like this person really tries so hard to carry themselves as an emperor, right? But underneath the emperor, you have to keep in mind that the emperor is the energy of the most mature. It is the energy of someone that is very structured, someone that is very, very structured, right? So they are like very grounded. They know who they are. But underneath, we have the king of cups. Okay? What does this mean? That this is a person that portrays or shows themselves to be this emperor, but in reality... It's a person that has issues with their emotions. They don't know how to deal with emotions and they get flared up right away or they get triggered very easily. Now, what I'm seeing here is, again, for some of you guys, it could be a Pisces, it could be an Aries, it could be any water energy, really, or fire energy. But what I'm seeing here is there could have been a situation where they felt like you had options and they were... I don't want to say triggered. I feel like more they realize that you have opportunities or that you have options. For some of you guys, maybe they were just not used to dealing with someone that has boundaries. And maybe you made that very clear to them. 
So for them, it was it, it, it kind of took them aback, but also it made them feel like they weren't enough. Or like you were going to be the one to end up leaving them. This person definitely struggles with a lot of insecurity issues. And again, it's giving me very much the vibe of, for some of you guys, you're going to be like, oh my God, like, you know, I, I never, I, you know, it's coming across for me. It's almost like as an example, if you guys are out and about and he sees or she sees that someone's staring at you, they will joking, jokingly tell you like, oh, look, they have their eye on you. But it, it's, and you probably would get even bothered maybe feeling like this person really doesn't give a shit about me because they're not showing any type of emotion. But in fact, they were. That was their insecurity. The fact that they were acknowledging other people watching you or other people admiring you. This is a person, again, like I said, that really hides very well. It's almost like they come across as aloof and very detached. But this person clearly has issues with their emotions because they're a bit possessive. This is a person that has a lot of insecurity issues and they don't have very much confidence in themselves, even if they try with their might to come off as a very confident person. So I feel like this something happened in this connection where they had to rethink, you know what, do I continue on this connection or am I going to end up getting hurt or being left? Um, so they started pulling away and I feel like it had more to do with their fears. However, I feel like there's going to be, and perhaps this full moon, like I said, if you've been trying to manifest this person, this person is coming back and will be reaching out to you, Virgo. But what I am seeing here with the eight of wands, communication is going to come in quick and very unexpected, very sudden, especially with the tower card here. And they're going to be opening up or they're going to be professing their feelings for you. They may even tell you about certain things that you didn't think much of it. And now that you recall or now that they bring it up, you're going to be like, oh, my God, how could I have been so blind? Like they were really in their feelings <laughs> when they made this comment or that or when they said this or when they said that because it's giving me very much like you being triggered or even bothered like they don't care. But it turns out that they cared a little too much. So again, I feel like there is communication that's going to be happening very quickly, very fast. It's very unexpected, especially because it's almost like they're going to vomit all over you, their emotions and the fact that they can't pretend anymore or they can't pretend like they don't care okay and again I feel very strongly like this is going to really blow your mind because you had this perception of them and it's like the complete opposite for others of you this person will like I said they are definitely communicating and they will definitely be reaching out to you but for some of you very little, okay? But I do want you guys to come back and comment below and let me know what your experience is. But what I'm seeing here is for some of you guys, and I want to say a very small percentage, I'm seeing this person come back around and reach out to you, but only because they see someone else actively pursuing you. And I feel like this person that's coming in is someone that's already in your energy, Virgo. It's someone that is you're either already communicating with or someone that you are in constant communication. It's giving me very much the vibes of like texting or on social media. It's probably someone that comments very often in your post or stuff like that, but you don't think much of it. I feel like they're going to be actively taking a leap of faith and wanting to get to know you better. It, it could be as you know simplistic as them DMing you and being like, hey, I would like to get to know you better. And you guys exchange numbers, that type of energy. I feel that even though if this person from your past um, doesn't know of the existence of this other person that is already in your energy, it's almost like they're going to feel an energetic release on your part because you're putting your energy or effort towards something else. And that's the reason why they come back around and they're trying to like really, like I said, profess their feelings for you. So Sometimes it happens that way, you guys. Sometimes we're so fixated on a person and like that's all we can think about and that's all we want. 
And then the moment that something changes in your life that changes your direction and you start putting effort and energy towards someone else or something else that's keeping you busy, that person, it's like all of a sudden there's a major change. They're reaching out. They're chasing you. And the reason for it is because energetically they don't feel your energy anymore. They feel like you're moving on and that's the reason why they reach out. So that's the vibe it's giving me you guys okay moving on let's see what's going on with libra libra sun moon rising venus let's see who's thinking of them who is missing you libra who's thinking of you libra sun moon rising venus let's see who's thinking of you who's missing you libra sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with libras how are you doing, Libra? How are you guys holding up? I know you guys have been going through massive transformations, a lot of changes, especially with South Note being in your sign. All right, here we go. Libra, let's see what's going on here. Okay, we're going to take the middle ones. There we go. All righty, Libra. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. Oof, we have the Justice card here, powerful energy. Seven, or sorry, four five of swords here the full card and the princess of swords okay so there is a karmic release that's happening for some of you guys you could have been dealing or have been dealing with a karmic cycle a karmic connection someone that has made it really difficult i'm not gonna lie but here's the thing this person has been this person has been testing you in the aspect of learning to love yourself, Libra. And it's almost like everything in your life becomes very imbalanced the moment you continue to deal with them. So it's giving me very much energy of like, you guys break up, you guys come back together. You guys break up, you guys come back together. Even if you guys are not dating and you guys are like fuck buddies, for example. It's like they come in in your life, you think it's going somewhere, and then, then boom, they disappear or they come back. There's a lot of inconsistency here. There is no structure. There is no stability here. The reason why it's been so difficult for you to move on from this connection or the reason it's so difficult for them to move on from this connection is not because they love you, Libra. It's because it's a karmic connection. So think of it as they have made you feel the, the most anyone has ever made you feel, but they have also made you feel the worst that anyone has ever made you feel. It's a karmic connection, and this is a release that needs to happen. Obviously, karmics, they're here to teach us the lesson of learning to choose ourselves because only through that are you able to break that toxicity, that toxic cycle, and go about your path, which is away from them. Karmics are not meant to be in our lives forever. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not a soulmate connection. It's not a twin flame connection. A karmic is here to teach you to, to, to choose yourself. Whatever past history you had in previous lifetimes, that's why they're coming up. That's why they're showing up. Because in past lifetimes, you kept sacrificing yourself for this connection or this relationship. So your authentic path here is to break free from that. So there is... There is almost this, like I said, a lot of inconsistency, a lot of, you know, if you keep asking yourself, Lyra, why doesn't this person leave me alone? Or why do they keep coming to me? Like, oh my God, we must be destined together because it could go a year without hearing from each other. And then boom, they come back in and you think it's going somewhere. And the reason for this is, again, like I said, it's a karmic connection. So it's teaching you, you need to learn to teach, or not to teach yourself, you need to learn to choose yourself. To walk away from this. Only through doing this are you going to experience growth, expansion, and happiness. Which for some of you guys, I'm going to be honest, a lot of you guys feel like you don't deserve to be happy. Or a lot of you guys feel like it's just not in the cards. It's just not your destiny. Sweetheart, it's not in your destiny because you don't allow it to come in. You keep blocking your blessings. You got to learn to choose yourself. For some of you guys, it could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or it could be a person that is dealing or has been dealing with like substance abuse, alcoholism, drugs, 
Um, for others of you, you know, it could medication. It could, it could be anything really that they use that as a form of escapism. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with an <clears throat> with an Aries. A Libra like yourself, a Gemini or an Aquarius. But there is a definite understanding that you need to walk away from this connection. This connection has served its purpose a long time ago, Libra. And this is a person that you're going to know exactly who they are because they just keep coming back. But the moment you choose yourself, the moment you stand your ground, the moment you say enough is enough, the moment you really take your power back, this person will move on. Because that's what you guys are meant to do. To learn to end the cycle of this toxicity. All right, my loves. Moving on here. That was heavy. <laughs> that was heavy, Libra. Sorry. I was just telling you guys, right, about the south node in your sign. And, you know, when we have the south node in our sign, south node is what we've already experienced in past lives. We need to aim to walk towards our north node. That is our destiny. That's what we're here for. That's what we're meant to do. Yes, staying in our south node is comfortable. It's what we know. It's what we're best at. We're best at that because we're so comfortable in that. But you need to walk towards your destiny, Libra. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who's thinking of them, who's missing them. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with them. Who's missing you, Scorpio? Who's thinking of you? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I have so many clients that come to me for personal readings that are Scorpios. I love you guys. My brother is a Scorpio as well, and my sister-in-law is a Scorpio. All right, here we go. We have the Hermit here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. We have the King of Wands, High Priestess, and the Four of Swords. Okay. Ooh, and I just looked at the tower. Okay. Scorpio, what the heck is going on here? Were you dealing with someone that is married? I feel like the person that you are constantly on their mind is someone that may be in a committed relationship or may have something going on that you're not aware of. And for some of you guys, if there was, if you were dealing with someone and recently there's no communication and they kind of have your head spinning, like, what the hell happened? Like, where the fuck did they go? Like, what's going on? It's because this person is in a committed relationship, you guys. They are... I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with the person that has either a tendency of telling you that they're always busy because of work or they do, in fact, have a lot of work, but I feel that that work is kind of an excuse to keep them from the commitments that they have or the responsibilities that they have. But they are definitely keeping you. I, I, I'm getting very much like the energy of someone that is like living a double life or holding something very secretive. And I feel like they're holding you as the secret. Um, so if you were dealing, in fact, with someone that, like I said, you know, only communicates with you a certain time, in the day or in the night, um, then they ghost you, then they you don't hear from them, and then all of a sudden they come back around. The reason for this is because this is a person that may be in a committed relationship, may actually be, be married, or may actually have like someone officially that they're dating. Um, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Piscean energy here as well. This could have been someone that came to you very hot and heavy. Like, 
like immediate, immediate physical attraction. But I feel like they haven't been completely honest with you. For some of you guys, you could have been like when you met this person, this person could have been coming out of a relationship. For those of you guys that were aware, um, there was like a temporary break, some type of temporary separation that happened. However, if they're telling you they're not dealing with them anymore, they are lying to you. Because I clearly see the reason why they've pulled away or the reason why they're not really communicating right now is because they're trying to work on that relationship or they're trying to not get caught up. So if this is resonating with you, Scorpio, keep it pushing my loves. You guys deserve better than this shit, honestly. Um, the only card that's missing here is the Seven of Swords to just be a validation, but I do feel very strongly like this person is in a committed relationship. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's like there was an immediate intense physical connection here. Immediate, like, they really went hard for you or they really actively pursued you. And then all of a sudden, like, they're pulling away or they're ghosting you or they're not responding to your texts till like, days later. It's because of that. So be mindful of that. All right, moving on here. And I fear, I feel very strongly like this person always either they're always talking about like they're always busy they always have so many things going on maybe that's why they can't hang out with you but in reality they're just full of shit all right scorpio all right moving on here let's see what's going on with sagittarius sagittarius sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with sagittarius who is thinking of them who is missing them Okay, we have the strength card. We have the queen of swords. Oh, we have a few cards that flipped out. I'm going to put them back. Here we go. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Who is missing you? Who is thinking of you? Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a Leo. For others of you, could be an air sign. Sagittarius, sorry, not Sagittarius. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. All right, here we go, Saggy. All right, two of wands. Three of cups, king of cups, nine of cups. Okay. Okay, so you are in the mind of a person that uh, has a tendency of like not being, not being the committal type, Sagittarius. I feel like this is a person that likes the chase. This is a person that enjoys um, everything that comes with the relationship except the relationship itself. Uh, and this is definitely a person that you've already been physical with. Um, so there could have been some type of connection for some of you guys. This could have been like a fuck buddy type of situation for others of you. You were wanting it to be something else, but it was, you know, perhaps just physical. I feel like this person likes to play mind game Sagittarius. This is a person that likes the chase, like I said, but I feel like once they have, it, it's very much giving me like manipulative energy. It's the type of person that blows up your phone is constantly texting you is telling you, like they put you in the center of their world for like two three days and then they start to pull back and they stop reaching out and the reason they do this is because that's what keeps you missing them and wanting them more that you keep allowing inconsistencies in this connection and if you guys are connecting with this energy you know who i'm talking about because this is someone that keeps coming in and out of your life whenever they want um but what they are showing me here is this person will be reaching out to you. They will be reaching out to you. They'll be coming towards you. But I feel very strongly like the reason why they're reaching out is because, again, I feel like they they just it's it's a control type of thing. It's it's like a it's like a power move. It, it's, you know. I want to know if I still have it. 
I want to know if I still got it. I want to know if Sagittarius is still there, willing to keep me, to keep embracing me, basically. Even though I'm unreliant, even though I am not stable, even though I am not consistent. Um, and best believe that this person has an amazing talk. This is a person that is a good fucking talk. Like they sell you a dream. They tell you everything that, that, that you want to hear because they're so good at reading people. They're so good at getting to your insecurities and playing off of that so that you can become more emotionally attached to them. And that's the reason why you keep allowing them to keep coming into your life. Um, like I said, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Leo. For others, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio energy here, Pisces energy here. Um, for others of you, Aries energy as well. But again, I feel like this is a person that has put you in a third party situation or whether you're aware of it or not, for some of you guys, you're not aware um, the reason why this person is so inconsistent is because they do have other options. So if you know who this person is, my advice is give them the boot. You don't need this type of fuckery, Sagittarius. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Capricorn, my lovely Cappies. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who's missing them. Who's thinking of them? Who's thinking of Capricorn? Who's missing Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's thinking of them? Who's missing them? Okay, we have Princess of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. Oh. All right. We have the Five of Cups. Excuse me, the wheel. Interesting. Okay. All right, here we go. King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Okay. Capricorn, who's missing you? Who's thinking of you, my loves? Okay, so what I'm being shown here is you're heavily on the mind of a person that dropped the ball with you. This was a person that thought, maybe even told you, that they weren't looking for anything serious or that they, they're they not the settling type. This is a person that thought they could deal with you and be able to move on like they do with everyone else. Except, ooh la la, what's happening? They're missing you. They're thinking of you. They're worried. They're worried that two things need to happen. Either they step up or completely walk away from you. And walking away is not an option. So you could have possibly been dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For others of you, you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. Water energy is here present as well. Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Cancer. Fire energy here as well. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And air. Could be any sign really. But this was a person... That you did feel a connection with Capricorn, but you got tired of them, like not making up their mind. For some of you guys, you guys are not in communication right now. Someone blocked someone. So this could have been you blocking them or they could have blocked you in the past. But I see them coming back around because they're realizing, you know what? I can get over Capricorn. Capricorn is the person I want. And though it's been long in the making, they're willing to give you an offer. They're willing to step up. They're willing to be open to changing their mind because in the past, I feel like they were very adamant about either not settling, not wanting to get married. For others, maybe they mentioned this to you. But it's like now their perspective is changing because they're not wanting to lose you. This is a person that is in their feelings about you right now, Capricorn. That's for sure. And the luck, meaning the wheel, is about where you felt at the bottom or you felt like this went nowhere. This is going to make a major flip, a major change, 180. So for some of you guys, it could be a person that you thought would never give you what you wanted or never would never be capable of giving you the type of commitment that you want and that you rightfully deserve Capricorn. But this person, like I said, I feel like they had to be pushed 
to the point of knowing what your absence feels like to realize that you are the person that they they're wanting, that you are the person that they want to build something with. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that's been either single for a very long time or a person that was very much very much into superficial connections. But like I said, I feel like there is a complete shift, a complete 180 that's going to be happening. It's almost like they're showing me the form of the pathway that's opening up here with the Princess of Pentacles. So it's the realization of, you know what? Am I willing to lose Capricorn? Am I willing to give someone else the opportunity to come to come in and give them what I'm capable of giving? Am I capable of giving? Or am I adamant about giving because I've never been there before? But now I want to. And again, I feel like they are not going to take, for some of you guys, if you guys recently blocked this person or recently have not been communicating with this person and you haven't heard from them, for sure, this person, the reason why they haven't reached out is because they're still like tossing and turning in their mind about how they're going to approach you because they know the only way they can approach you is by giving you some type of offer. And that's what's coming through. But I feel like that's what's keeping them from coming towards you because they want to be sure. They want to be ready. But they are definitely coming through and they're giving you that offer. They're stepping up. The ball is basically in your court, Capricorn. For some of you guys, I'm hearing a little too late. So I don't know if you've been waiting on this person for a while. For some of you guys, it could be recent. For others of you, like I said, it could be a while. Because I am hearing a little too late. But it's almost like this person had to realize what it was to feel your loss or to feel your absence. Maybe in the past you've been the one that's reached out and you didn't do that this time. So now you have them feeling like, why isn't Capricorn reaching out? Are they moving on? Did they find someone else? So all of these insecurities are being triggered and Again, I'm, I'm seeing them tossing and turning at night, reaching for their phone, wanting to text you, but then holding back because they're like, okay, if Capricorn does respond, am I going to offer them something? Am I ready to offer them something? So I feel like for those of you guys that are like in panic mode or feel like you, like this person moved on, they haven't. They haven't. What's happening is that they're still internalizing how they're going to come at you because they know that the only way to come at you is with an offer. But you will be hearing from them, Capricorn. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's thinking of them? Who's missing them? Who is thinking of them? Who's missing them? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you guys are subscribers, make sure you hit that notific uh, notification bell so that you guys can get notified as well. I'm going to be doing more lives as well. I know that's something I keep saying and I just don't have the time to do so, but I am going to be putting more effort. As you guys can see, I'm already uploading a lot of videos and tons more to come as well as, like I said, I will be going live as well. All right, I'm going to put it back in. Here we go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's thinking of you? Who's missing you? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's missing you? Who's thinking of you? Aquarius. Oh, we got. All right. Five of Swords. All right, Aquarius. Let's see who is missing you. Who's thinking of you? Five of Swords here. The Fool card. The Two of Pentacles, 
the king of swords the five of pentacles and the justice card okay some of you guys may be dealing with another air sign another fellow air sign aquarius libra gemini from some of you guys may be doing earth energy taurus capricorn virgo libra is here aries is here as well what i'm seeing is there is a person from your past that recently has noticed either that you have options or that people are giving you more attention, Aquarius. And this is not sitting well with them. It's almost like <coughs> what's giving me the vibe very much is like them seeing that you're communicating back and forth. So this could be through social media. This could be someone commenting on your shit. And they've noticed because they're stalking you because they're watching your shit. This is a person that's very much in their ego. It's a person that could potentially put a lot of like importance in the superficiality of things or on the physical attributes of someone. And this is a person that cannot understand like why you're not chasing them or why you're not going towards them. This is a person that they could have possibly fucked up but they take no self-responsibility for it. But I also see another person in your energy, Aquarius. For some of you guys, like I said, could be an air sign. Could be their sun, moon, rising. But what I'm seeing here is, again, it's almost like they were comfortable at the fact that maybe they haven't seen you fully moved on or maybe they haven't heard of you dating or going out with anyone. And all of a sudden, it's like something has shaken in them where they took notice of something. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're taking better care of yourself. For some of you guys, it could be that you're having a glow up. For others of you, especially if you guys are Aquarius Risings, this could be it as well, that you're going through a massive glow up where they're starting to see that obviously more people are going to be more drawn to you. Or like, why is Aquarius taking care of themselves all of a sudden? They must be dealing with someone. So I see them really like they're showing me like the which I'm gonna call it binoculars, like really, like really zooming in to see what exactly is going on because they're very curious about what's going on in your life. But like I said, I do see another energy around you. Now I am going to tell you this, because you are coming up in your own reading here with the five of pentacles, Aquarius, whatever this person taught you, whatever you went through with this person, don't let that affect how you view yourself or who you are as a person like don't make them doubt who you are because with the five of swords here the fool and the two of pentacles this is a person that's very emotionally immature this is a person that has commitment issues there could have been some cheating involved because it is showing me very much like commitment issues or someone that just doesn't know how to be loyal but what they're showing me here with the five of pentacles, almost like having you question like yourself or your capabilities or maybe even wondering like, is it some, is it something, is it me? Am I the reason why I can't find a stable relationship? Am I the reason why Am I the one that pushes people away? Because this person would tell me that the reason why they did what they did was because I was so emotionally detached. But I'm going to be, again, I'm going to be honest. This person just has issues with commitment issues. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with you. So that's why they're telling me, like, don't allow them to reflect onto you their insecurities or what they don't, what they haven't learned to master about themselves. Do you get what I'm saying? And the reason I say that is because with the five of pentacles here in the justice card, I feel like there is a new person with the full card that's coming in for you. But this could be a person because the justice is here. This, you know what? Let me, let me get a little bit deeper into it. Give me clarification for the justice card. Okay. Yeah. Very, okay. So I wanted to get clarification with this justice card because the vibe that I'm getting here is almost like, Someone new is in your energy, but I feel like you're going to be questioning certain things about yourself or doubting certain certain things about yourself because this person comes in with very much like 
giving me very much like big daddy energy or like, um, you know, a very empowered and very strong woman. Um, and I feel like it's going to have you in your feelings. It's going to make you question like your capabilities or it's going to make you question, am I even worthy of this person type of energy? Um, so I wanted to get clarification and I have the moon card. So for some of you guys, this person, is, this person is coming in either around this full moon. We're in full moon right now around this uh, time frame or going into new moon. That's if they, you haven't already met this person. And for some of you guys, it could be a Libra. For others of you, it could be an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, this is a person that is, like I said, with the Justice card and the Moon card. It is a person that is very much balanced in their emotions. It could potentially be a person that is extremely smart or has very strong intellect, very authoritative type of energy, especially with the King of Pentacles here. A type of personality that they mean business. They're about their business. Um, with the Eight of Cups, giving me very much the energy of like being, being scared of like giving yourself the opportunity. And again, I feel like it has more to do with the Five of Pentacles feeling like you're questioning yourself or you're questioning like, would they even be interested in me? Would they even this? Would they even that? So what Spirit is telling you is don't let what other people have done to you be a reflection of who you are because it has nothing to do with you. How people treat you and how people carry themselves is not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them. Okay? All right, my loves. Moving on here. And you know what I'm hearing? <laughs> For some of you guys, you're going to be feeling like this connection is going to be much more deeper than you've ever experienced, that it's going to make you question or like doubt if it's just one-sided. But I'm telling you, Aquarius, it's not. This person is feeling you too. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who's thinking of Pisces. Who's missing them? Who's thinking of Pisces? Who's missing them? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on here. You guys stay tuned for more videos coming through for you guys. I have another video that's going to be uploaded um, that is going to be in regards to what they desire or what it is that they want from you. And yes, I threw in the desire there because we're going to get into it. <laughs> How they view you, what they want from you, and what are their true intentions. All right, so you guys stay tuned for that. All right, Pisces, here we go. We have the Ten of Cups here. Oh, Ten of Cups here. Let's see who's thinking of you. For some of you guys, this could be a person that you had or maintained some type of relationship with definite relationship here the sun wow six of wands princess of wands four of wands and the four of pentacles okay so the person that's thinking of you or missing you for those of you guys that are in in fact in a relationship obviously your partner's your partner's thinking of you i feel like for some of you guys you're going to be experiencing some type of surprise this could be your partner taking you out on a like a little road trip, some type of vacation. Um, but what's coming through here with the Ten of Cups, uh, this is an ex. This is an ex that's missing you, Pisces. This is a person that you maintained a relationship with in the past. For some of you guys, you could have children with this person. Um, and I feel like the reason why they are, or the reason why you're on their mind, obviously, because there's still love there for you, Pisces. They still have love. They still care for you. But I feel that more than anything, they probably didn't think that you were going to move on. Now, for others of you, what I'm getting is your ex-partner is thinking of you because they recently heard, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that recently got into a relationship or recently made something official or recently made it publicly known, I feel like they're in their they're in their emotions because they didn't think you would move on that quick. Now, for some of you guys, I'm hearing it's been over two years. Um, yeah, but they just never thought that you would actually, in fact, get into another relationship. Maybe they thought that you were just not going to maybe move in with someone, get married to someone, and 
especially like I said, especially those of you guys that recently got into a relationship, this is definitely a person from your past that didn't think you would substitute them, not substitute them, but like they didn't think that you were going to be ready, even if it's been years. It's kind of like the energy that I'm getting is like, you know, when sometimes you end a relationship and it goes years without you actually like dating someone. And I don't mean dating. I mean, like to be official with someone, like, like get yourself into a serious monogamous relationship that the moment you do, especially when there's children involved, that the moment you do, it's like they throw this massive fit because and then they use the excuse of like, well, I need to know how they are because I'm not going to let my kids be around them. That type of petty, even though they jump from like multiple relationships, even though they jump from like dick to dick or, or vajayjay to vajayjay, the moment you decide, it's like, oh, my God, World War One happens because or World War Two happens because it's like, what the fuck? Right. That's the vibe I'm getting. I feel like this is a person from your past that you had a relationship with. They cannot bear to see you happy. It's like they 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 still thought in their head or I should say in their delusional mind that you still belong to them or that they still had some type of control over you. And for those of you guys that have recently gotten yourselves into a relationship, be careful not to allow this person to overstep because I feel like the reason why they would do that is because it's out of spite. So be mindful about that, Pisces, okay? You know, like I tell my clients, when it comes to exes, whatever gum we spit out and to the ground, we don't pick it up. Just saying. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, oh. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who's thinking of Aries. Who has you on their mind, Aries? Who's thinking of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Let's see what's going on here. We got cards flying out. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, okay, here we go. High Priestess here. Piscean Energy. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on here. Who's thinking of you? Who's missing you? For some of you guys, could be dealing with someone with the initials B or J. BJ. <laughs> Funny. Okay. <clears throat> we have the High Priestess, the Eight of Cups, the Star card, the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Okay. And the Empress card showed. Okay. What the hell happened here, Aries? I feel like the person that you're on their mind is a person that really wanted to stabilize this connection. For some of you guys, this is or was a fuck buddy situation. For others of you, it was purely physical. For others of you, it was kind of hidden. We have the tower and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so I felt inclined to pull these. Okay, so what I'm seeing here initially, what I was shown, was that this was a connection that you wanted to keep keep hidden or they wanted to keep hidden, right? But you guys got in your feels and you guys got, like you guys ended, it's almost like, we're not going to fall for each other and then boom, you fall for each other type of energy. So now you guys don't know how to get out of this weird fucking energy, right? The energy of like, well, I can't tell her, you know, she can't do that because we're not official or I can't tell him what the fuck with that because we're not, we're not nothing serious. So I feel like you guys are in this position where both of you guys are holding back. And the reason why you're holding back is because none of you guys are growing the actual balls to step in and be like, you know what? I have feelings because both of you guys have feelings. Do you get what I'm saying? That's initially what came through. It's like you guys are willing to let the shit burn down. You guys are willing to walk away or you guys are willing to continue ignoring each other and pretending that you guys are not stalking each other only because you guys are very much so fucking scared of opening up. So I wanted to clarify the Empress is very much Venusian energy. It is talking about emotions 
there was a revelation of emotions that came to the surface. There was a situation that could have potentially become emotional, whereas instead of addressing it, you guys kind of went in your own ways. And now it's like it's an awkward it's in an awkward situation. Like you guys don't know how to get out of this fucked up situation, this confusion that's going on. And the reason why there's confusion is because both of you guys are so scared of actually opening up Aries. That's why I said what the fuck is going on here. Like, let's be honest. This is something that I, it's, I cannot tell you guys how many times this happens when I do personal readings. Like people really, I don't know why we are living in this generation of like, oh, I'm not going to open up and I'm not going to show emotions. Like, I want them to chase me. Even the guys expect women to chase them. Like, what the hell? Like, who told you guys that that's okay, that that's healthy? It's not. You know, it's not. Like, and, and to be honest, like, I just don't have that type of energy. <laughs> um, but I cannot tell you guys how many times I see relationships come to an end, like genuine connections. Like nothing comes from it because both are holding back and they're not being honest with each other. You know what I mean? And that's that's exactly what's coming through. Now, the probability of you guys having success in this connection is very high, Aries. It's very high. Like there is genuine love there. There is genuine admiration for each other. There is genuine respect for each other. But it's like you guys are so scared of like being the one to step up or being the one to walk towards the other and and not, what's coming through is like just fear it's fear it's it's traumas from past experiences or past relationships but the high priestess it's like holding your emotions keeping your emotions hidden willing to walk away from what you know makes you happier from what you know is exactly what you want and it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, oh, my God. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I come towards them? Six of Pentacles. Do I give some type of offering? Do we talk about it? Do we meet halfway? Six of Wands. Victory. Ace of Pentacles. The probability and possibility of something long term. Transformative energy. This is Platonian energy, you guys. For some of you guys, this is like a really deep soul contract, soul connection. We have Pluto, right, in Aquarius. So for some of you guys, this is this is a soulmate that's coming in or that you're dealing with. For some of you guys, it could be someone that's coming in. But what I'm seeing here is you're dealing with someone that there is like a soulmate connection here, but no one is willing to walk towards each other. And the reason for this is because you guys are scared. You guys are scared to give in. You guys are scared to let your walls down. You guys are scared of being vulnerable because God forbid they hurt me again. Like one of the things that I tell my clients and, and this is something I've had to remind myself because, you know, as a Capricorn, um, vulnerability is not our thing, right? Especially emotions is not our thing. But you know what? Something I've had to tell clients and something I've had to tell myself. At the end of the day, I'd rather fall in love 50,000 times in my lifetime because being in love is the most purest form of experience to actually experience happiness. So I'd rather be hurt 50,000 times, but at least I know that I felt something. Whereas if you keep yourself guarded and protected, you're going to get yourself to a point of feeling numb. And I'd rather feel something than not feel anything at all. Do you get what I'm saying? And I feel like you guys have the potential to actually create and build something here. Like build a genuine connect this is like a lifetime partner type of thing but i feel like for a lot of you guys either you're letting this pass you by or you're waiting for them to make the move and they are just as scared as you are aries all right moving on 
Here we go. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is missing Taurus? Who's thinking of Taurus? Let's see what's going on here with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys enjoyed these videos, like, share, and comment so I can continue doing them for you. Your likes, your subscribers, or subscribes, <laughs> subscribers, your subscribes uh, motivate us. So, my spirits, thank you. All right, here we go, Taurus. Oh, interesting. Two of Cups, Prince of Cups. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already know what's going on with you guys. Oh, my goodness. Prince of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Death card. Whether you're ready or not, Taurus, love is coming towards you. You know what came through when I seen the Two of Cups and the Prince of Cups? There is a connection that's coming towards you, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been so accustomed to being single. And this is for those of you guys that have been single for a while. You've been so accustomed to being single that the moment this connection comes in, you guys are going to be rethinking like, oh, maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I don't want a relationship because you guys are so self-sufficient and you're going to be experiencing like having to move certain things around to make time for them where you're going to feel very tempted to walk away from this connection. But whether you're ready or not, like I said, I do see this connection unfolding for you. For a lot of you guys, this is a new connection because we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So it's not anyone you're dealing with right now. For some of you guys, it could be an Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus like yourself. I see the Sun here. So it could be Leo, Piscean, Cancer, Scorpio Energy, especially with Pluto here. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like, I feel this is new love for a lot of you guys. Now, I know the reading is like, who's thinking of you, right? But what I'm being shown is a new connection coming through for a lot of you around the time that someone from your past comes back around or tries to reach out. For some of you guys, this is a person that maybe nothing serious came from this connection, but it's almost like you guys had a falling out. For some of you guys, this could have been like a person from a distance or someone you were dealing with that was at a distance. It could be like a different city, a different country type of thing, um, a different state. Um, but I feel like nothing really came from that, but you did feel like the connection. You guys were actually getting to know each other or communicating, but then someone stopped communicating whether it was you or them i feel like they're coming back around i feel like they're reaching out to you and here's what i'm here's what i'm hearing for a lot of you taurus out there okay let me see yeah so <coughs> ace of pentacles with the strength card and the devil you're going to be very tempted to go back to your comfort zone what do i mean by this okay so they're showing me a new connection, and this is a connection that has the potential for something long term. But I feel like this person from your past comes back around and you actually start to entertain them, Taurus. But I feel like you're not entertaining them because you care for them or <coughs> excuse me, or because there's love there. I feel like you entertain them more so because it's convenient for you because they're at a distance. Whereas this new person that's coming in is not at a distance. And like I said, initially what I first heard off the bat with the Two of Cups and the Prince of Cups was that this connection or this person that's coming in is a person that really, really is like their love language is being physical with each other. So they physically want to spend time with you. They physically want to be around you. And I feel like the moment you start to have to rearrange your life you start rethinking like, am I, am I really ready for this? And yes, you are, Taurus. You are ready. You are ready. Okay? It's just that you've become so self-sufficient. You've become so independent that it's going to be easier for you to fall into what's comfortable for you. But they're telling you to embrace this new chapter that's coming in. Now, for others of you, if this was a person that you actually, in fact, dated, 
that starts to reach out, I feel like you're going to be more tempted to give them more of the opportunity than this new person that's coming in for you. And again, when that happens, I want you to chin check yourself, Taurus. Like really internalize. Am I feeling the connection with this person from the past? Am I entertaining them because, because I care for them? Or is it because it's convenient for me? It's because we're not always going to be seeing each other. It's because we're not always going to be around each other. I don't have to switch certain things up. I don't have to move certain things. I don't have to make time for them. And if in fact it is that it's comfortable for you because at a distance maybe is what you think is more convenient for you, it's not. This is something you have to let go of, right? With the devil card here. So be mindful of that. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, Taurus. I have a tendency of doing that. <laughs> um, it's it is. When you become so self-independent and self-reliant, the moment you start dealing with someone, right, when we're talking about dating, obviously you have to make time for them. You know, you guys kind of have to meet halfway to spend time, quality time, to go out, to go on dates, etc. And sometimes, yeah, it's more comfortable to deal with people that are from a distance because you don't have to constantly be doing that and it's more convenient. But is it really convenient? Or is it your defense mechanism that you tell yourself you're willing and wanting love but not necessarily willing to put in the effort because when it comes to relationships that takes effort on both sides all right all right my loves that is it for these readings i hope you guys enjoyed like share comment let me know how this full moon you're going to be spending or what you're going to be doing comment below and i will be going through all the messages i want to wish you guys the very best blur brightest of blessings on this full moon and uh, we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.